Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today we will continue part 2 of the workshop for the dispatch module. If you haven't watched the part 1, you may click the link that is shared at the top right corner. Alright, let's start the topic for today, the job master. There are two tables involved in the job master. The job master table and the job detail table. Let's check out the job master table first. Record it is a text column with an initial value of unique ID. Client ID is a ref column to the client master table. Team ID is a ref column to the team master table. Out image is an image column. This column is to keep the image when the delivery members pick up the item. Received image is an image column. This column is to keep the image when it is delivered. Status is an enum column, with values of new, pick up, out of delivery and delivered. With an initial value of new. Received signed is a signature column. Received ID is a text column, to keep the receiver ID. Received by is a text column, to keep the receiver name. Received date is a date time column, to keep the received date time. The created date is date time column with an initial value of now. Created by is an email column, with initial value of user email. Out by is an email column, to keep the delivery member email. Outdate is a date time column to keep the delivery date time. Job location is a lot long column. Which value is a ref to the location column from the client master table? Related job details is a list column. It is auto created by app sheet. Client address is a address column. Which value is a ref to address column from the client master table? Client contact is a phone column. Which value is a ref to contact number column from client master table? Job distance is a decimal column, which is an app formula that calculate the distance from delivery member current location to client location. All right, job master table is ready. Let's check out the job detail table. Record ID is a text column with an initial value of unique id. Master ID is a ref column to job master table. Stock ID is a ref column to the stock master table. You may check out the stock master table in our last video. The link is shared at the top right. Quantity is a number column. Pickup image is an image column to keep the image during pickup from the store. Created by is an email column with an initial value of user email. Created date is a date time column with an initial value of now. Pickup by is an email column to keep the person who pick up the item. Pickup date is a date time column to keep the date time of the item as pickup. All right, the job detail table is ready. Let's check out the slice that we prepared. Create the job map read only slices shown. Create the job master slices shown. Create the job to be delivered slice as shown. Mm -hmm. 
create the job to be pickup slice as shown. Alright, the table and the slice is ready. Let's proceed to the user interface. Start with the job dashboard. Set the job as dashboard, position it menu. And with three view entries, the job master, the job map and the team current location. Let's check out the job master first. Job master is sourced from the job master slice. It is a table view, and the position is set as ref. Next, set the column order as shown. Next, let's check out the form. Set the job form as shown. Next, let's check out the job detail. Set the job detail as shown. Lastly, set the job inline as shown. Job master is ready. Let's check out the second view entries, the job map. For the job map, we just have one view. Set the job map as shown. Let's check out the third view entries, the team current location. Set the team current location as shown. and then set the team current location detail as shown. Alright, we will end here today. 
Next video, we will continue the pickup list and the delivery list. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel. So that we can notify you, once the next video is published. See you guys in the next video. Bye.